Well, hello everyone, and uh, good evening, or at least it is for me. So I looked out the window and thought oh, well, it was not looking too bad. So I've decided to take a little trip up into the Yorkshire Dales. So here we are. Now, once again, it would appear that I'm in the wrong place to get the shots at the moment in time. The sun's still quite high up and it's sitting uh, Pennigent Mountain over in the distance over there. It's sitting all the other hills, but it's not hitting where I am. Now, I'm sure it will, uh, but for now, it's just a matter of waiting. And yes, I've got a hat on. It's flipping August and I've got a hat on. It's bloody cold and windy up in these parts. A bit dark and looming at the moment, which is making the exposure a bit difficult. Uh, I may well change positions. I'm just going to go and have a, turn the camera off. I'm going to have a scout around, see if I can get a different view of this, because it's really causing a bit of a problem. It's really bright on the horizon. Now, I have got the reverse graduated filter, but it's a four stop, and it just seems a little bit too much. So, what I'm going to do is just have a scout around, see if I can find any other compositions that I might actually like plenty of rocks for foreground interest so that's that's really not an issue it's just getting a scene that's worth taking so let's have a look let's see there's loads of rocks here absolutely anyone who ever has been up to Malham it's basically like that but on a smaller scale uh, there's the mighty pen again which is being lit up by the sun at this moment in time. But what I think I'm going to do is sit it out, wait for the sun to come down a bit and see if we can get the shot. Okay, so I'm sat waiting and waiting and waiting for this sun. Now, I normally don't do this. To be honest with you, I do usually take a shot and go and find somewhere else, but I really want to try and get this shot today. Uh, I'm just hoping there's going to be cloud around when the sun does finally set. Uh, it's really hitting the land at the moment in some really nice places. I could run around, try to get shots, but I'm just going to stick to what I'm doing and what I've decided to do. I came out for a specific shot, and that's what I'm going to do. Uh, and I think I need to do more of that in my photography. I need to be more patient because sometimes I can be a bit impatient. So what does one do when they're sat around waiting for the sun to set? Well, luckily there's an internet connection here. So I've just watched Thomas Eaton's latest vlog, which is always a good watch. I've sat and watched a slug. It's there, might as well. I've sat and watched it for about half an hour. It's not got very far. But hey oh, each to their own. Let's see. Sun's gonna be going down. Ooh, what time is it? It's about half past eight I think. I've probably got a good hour. It's a long wait. So I just had to change my position a little bit. I say, make sure I don't stand on the bloody thing. I've got to say, this reverse grad is working a treat. I would advise advise anyone to get one. I'm just hoping. That we're going to get some nice glow. I'll see if I can show you the camera might not pick it up. I'll come out of the shot. Lovely glow starting to come. No one else up here. Me and the slug. Sheep, wherever they are. I can hear them, but I can't see them. Now, I think if the sky does go, it's going to be a one-shot deal. 
I don't think it's going to last for very long, so we can hope. No, it's very unusual because the last quite a few times I've been here, and there's usually been loads of photographers. Uh, obviously, they don't want to play out tonight. Hi. Uh, at this point, you know, I'll just take these off. You're probably wondering uh, what's happened to the vlog, and it's a very good question. <clears throat> now. Unfortunately, when I got back to the office and downloaded everything from my phone, the last couple of, couple of segments of video were corrupt. The sound had gone funny, the images had gone funny. I have absolutely no idea what had caused it. I, well, I've got a bit of an idea, but I've not tested the theory out yet. So anyway, you, you can't get to see how the day ended. Now, I can tell you, the final image wasn't as good as what it looked like it was going to be on the night. The sky started to light up, but alas, it just didn't. Now, I will show you the image, along with the other two again as a recap. But I just wanted to record this little bit, just to basically say uh, thanks to everyone that have commented on previous videos and watched them. Uh, if you do like the videos, then please subscribe. Any comments, always welcome. Uh, any questions and answers, always welcome. Uh, now, there's one thing I want to do say about the videos. I don't really go much into technical aspects of the filming, of the photography. This is purely down to the fact that what works for me might not work for you. And I could tell you my camera settings, but for each image, but it probably wouldn't help you because your camera settings will more than likely be different when you come to do your own photography. So in future I may try and give a little bit more info as to what I'm doing, but basically the vlogs to me, they're a bit of fun and it's just getting out there and people getting to see different parts of the UK and landscape who might not normally be able to get out and see these type of things. Uh, so yeah, that's basically why I'm doing these vlogs and like I say, a bit of fun. So if you do like, then keep watching. If you're new to it, please subscribe and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.